As all of these artists realize, syncing music to a film soundtrack is an enormous coup for any record. It opens up so many avenues for many people to hear a new track. In fact, tiny Stacy plug here, I actually have a new record out called Live It Up Rebooted, and it features Snoop Dogg. And the single is being featured in a comedy called Reboot Camp, which is out now. So I can't tell you how excited I was to get the call to perform the song in the film. But back to the significance of syncing a record to a film. The next single, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Rule the World was the first American number one hit for the British band Tears for Fears. Perhaps because it featured in the 1985 American science fiction comedy, Real Genius. Or maybe because it went to number one, because it was just a bloody awesome track. I'm going to follow that up with the 1985 quintessential teen movie song, St. Elmo's Fire. It was co-written by John Parr and David Foster. The single, A Man in Motion, was inspired by a paralyzed Canadian athlete, Rick Hansen, I, I remember this, who set on an around the world journey in his wheelchair. But the film was actually about a bunch of newly graduated college kids who had no clue what the heck they wanted to do with their lives. Anyways, they had this all-star Brat Pack cast with Rob Lowe and Demi Moore. And anyway, after that, I'm going to play the incredible Queen with their record, A Kind of Magic, which featured in the 1986 British fantasy film Highlander. But first, here is Tears for Fears and Everybody Wants to Rule the World.